hey everybody and welcome back i know it's been about three weeks since i seen you guys um i had a serious head cold okay and it was just all sinus everything and i never really had a straight up head cold before like everything from the neck up was just like out of commission okay so as a result of that my voice was just really raspy if you can kind of hear it it still have a little bit of raspiness to it but you know my voice is just such a big part of my channel and i just wanted to come correct when i did show back up so i just want to thank you guys for all of your prayers and well wishes on my last post and i am back and ready to get this thing popping so today i have jada in the chair and i'm going to try to do something different today so usually when I'm trying to get a lot of volume in the hair, I go in and I use my Marcel irons to curl. So if you don't know what a Marcel iron is, a Marcel iron is the one that goes into the stove. So that's the iron that I used and learned with in school. And you know, electric curlers and flat irons didn't really come onto the scene until like five or six years into my career. So, Today I was like, I just want to find a more convenient tool than using the iron and the stove and lugging it around, especially when I'm traveling. So today I'm going to try a new tool, new to me, but it's been on the, on the move for a little minute. So right now I'm going in with Jada and I am pressing, well, I'm blow drying her hair as straight as possible because blow drying the hair straight will allow me to not have to double press. Usually when I'm using an electric tool or when I see other people using electric curlers because I haven't used an electric curler since um, I was in 11th grade and I'm gonna tell you that story in a minute but usually when I see people using electric curling iron they have to press the hair first and you know how I feel about double pressing so um, to avoid that I'm just going to go in and make sure that Jada's hair is blow dried very straight um, so it can help me not have to do that Now, I get the question a lot, why do I like to use the paddle brush or the vent brush? Why do I use it instead of the comb attachment? And I understand when you are blow drying your own hair that a comb attachment is much easier. But why I use the paddle brush or vent brush um, over the comb attachment is because I like to get volume. And if you want your hair to move, one, you have to make sure that you wash the hair really well and all that conditioner is out and all that buildup um because you don't you can't have any product on the other than the heat protecting if you want your hair to move but two the comb attachment just kind of sticks the strands together and it just makes it kind of heavy and it marries those strands together where the vent brush separates them and it also lifts the hair up off the scalp and it just gives it a lot more movement and volume so that's the reason why i use a paddle brush because of that you know that the comb also just seems a little aggressive um when using it so that's just my opinion so you can take it or leave it <laughs> now these irons that i'm going in with are called the t3s okay so i see a lot of people using t3s on extensions but i never really see it done on real hair so i went on their instagram and then i saw people using it on their real hair but it's not like necessarily textured hair on their page so it made me uh, a little nervous like will it work for us now the crazy part is yes it does the heat on these things is really serious i didn't look at the numbers which is very odd for me because i usually would but i know that you know legally you can't go over a certain number anyway on an iron so i wasn't tripping and also jada's hair is more on the straighter side so i still want to try it on somebody with even more texture um hair but as you see i didn't have to go in with the flat irons now i mean with the blow dryer i did do pretty well with the blow dry but still most of the times you at least have to hit that root with the comb or a flat iron and I didn't have to do any of that. So what I did was I'm just gonna take the barrel of the curling iron and I'm just gonna press down on the root. The same thing I do with the Marcells. I press down on the root first, just to get a little extra, you know what I mean? Make sure I got that straight so it can last long and then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna curl it. 
Another thing about this iron that I love is that her hair just smoothed right on out. I didn't have to do all the click clacking and all of that. It just smoothed on out. And I'm using the duckbill clips to hold my curls in place so that they can cool in place because if they cool like this, you'll get even more volume when it's time to take it down. Okay, so I just looked it up and the highest temperature that the T3 goes up to is 410. So that's usually the temperature that I tell you guys to go up to on my iron, anywhere between 410 and 430. Uh, so that's cool with me. It is a lot of steam coming off of these irons, so it freaked me out. I'm looking at it on the footage like, oh my goodness, it looks so hot, but 410 is pretty amazing. So I also want to let you know that I got the T3 Trio. So that is a three barrels. I, I can change the barrel from small, medium to jumbo. Uh, so the price point on these irons are pretty high, um, depending on who you ask. I think it's great because you get what you pay for. But when I posted on my Instagram, a lot of people was like, you know, these irons are pretty hot. But if you are going to use them as much as I'm probably going to end up using them, it's totally worth it. Especially if you're getting the trio because you can switch out the size for whoever's hair you're doing or whatever style you're doing for yourself. So, oh, and also I want to let y'all know this is not a sponsored ad. I'm just really excited that I found a barrel iron that I like that is convenient enough for me to travel with and work and get great results. So it, this is not a sponsor ad. You don't have to feel any pressure about what I'm talking about. I'm just here to share my experience because if I love something, I'm gonna always make sure that y'all know about it. And if y'all decide that y'all might wanna grab it, that's what I'm here for. And that's why I try to always use stuff on my YouTube channel that my subscribers can go get. You know, a lot of hairstylists wouldn't agree with some of the things that I do like or some of the things that I promote for you to go get, but it's not about that. It's about what works for you guys and me to demonstrate it and make a lot of mistakes so that y'all don't have to. So that's what I'm here for. I'm here for y'all. I'm not here for me. Now, let me just tell y'all, I used to use now, when I was in high school, I used to wake up every morning and turn on my curling iron or my flat iron and do my hair. I, If I could look back on my high school self nails, waking up and putting heat on my hair every single day, I would probably give a little, give myself a Will Smith slap. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? Like, I might, I might do that because... What in the world? Like, why would I be waking up doing that every day? But, you know, you do better when you know better. You know, this is just something we learned over the years. Aren't you guys glad that we are free from the shackles of, like, not knowing about the health of hair and just, like, taking care of our hair a lot better? So, anyway, one day when I was in 11th grade, I woke up and, like, clockwork, I turned on my curling iron because the style that I had at the time, you know, I needed a curling iron. And I went and got in the shower and I came out and I had a towel on and my curling iron used to hang on the drawer of the dresser. So it would just be sitting up in the air and I walked past it and my thigh was still wet and it sizzled my thigh like burnt me. OK, and I don't think I ever used a plug in curling iron since then. <laughs> like I just don't even think I have. And you know what? I think I might have tried the babyless iron earlier on my channel, maybe like my third fourth or fifth video i might use a babyless iron but i didn't love that because i i need an iron to snatch you know what i mean like that spring in there has to be really strong in order to get our hair as straight as i need to, to get so anyway i burned myself so bad that mark is still on my leg from the 11th grade and yeah i've never really used the iron after that so this is the first time that I've used the iron since then and I am really satisfied with its performance like it's it's just handling her hair so well
I am going to leave a link below so you guys can follow Jada because Jada is a wardrobe stylist. Uh, she does wardrobe for TV shows and music videos and she just was on tour with Pretty Ricky and them. Like she gets down, okay? So I want you to follow her. Um, right now I'm going in and I'm about to curl her curtain bangs now. I'm completely out of the frame. I'm sorry, y'all, that... Um, you can't see but what I'm doing is I'm pressing the bangs back so that when her bangs fall they fall like a curtain and you'll see once her hair is back down you know what the effect of that is so yeah that's what I'm doing I'm curling it back and I'm just going to lock it in place with a duck bill clip like the rest of the curls Here is the glass brain shine. I'm just going to spray her down with that. Um, the glass brain shine and the serum, everything's in stock right now. Go get it. Um, and now I'm going to just remove the duckbill clips. Now, let me just tell you all something. When you are removing duckbill clips, take your time. I know I always tell you all to take, take your time with everything. But please take your time because the metal, like, you know, just the strands of hair just get all caught up. And you have to be careful because you will just pull a strand. And, you know, pulling one strand of hair is almost as painful. You know how to, it be some stupid stuff that hurts you the worst, like splinters and paper cuts. Well, that one strand of hair pull is a beast, okay? So, just take your time and be careful so that you don't be ripping no hairs or pulling your client's hair. Because duckbills are... They, I'm, I'm gonna find something better than a duck bill to use actually but as long as you take your time and do what you're supposed to do everybody will be fine you and your client you see I haven't even done anything but just remove some of those clips and you see how fluffy her hair already is and we are not even in the styling phase we're just you see that it's just nice and fluffy um so i can't wait to see how this comes out her hair is also looking very healthy when i look at it i love that she has a shine jada has the same color hair i have it's like it's probably like a two somewhere between two and four um it's like a, a off black it's not it's not dark enough to be black at all. Um, so it's sometimes it gets a little hard to get a shine on this. Does anybody else have like an ashy brown color going on? Um, because it'd be hard sometimes to get that hair shine. Oh, look at that curl. It's so juicy. It's sometimes get, it's hard to get shine on that. I like to put a dark brown or a black rinse on my hair every now and then because it just gives like a natural shine. But um, I haven't done it in so long. I think I'm going to go back to it because it also makes the hair look nice and full. Okay, so now all the clips are out. Now, if you want to leave your hair nice and curly and full like this, go ahead. I think it looks cute and great already. But for Jada, I am going to comb those curls out and then I am going to wrap it flat because we want it to be a little flatter than that, okay? It also looks cool while I comb it, but I kind of want it to be a little smoother. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the paddle brush and I am going to wrap her hair flat. And if you watch any of my videos, you know what I'm going to do next. I'm going to put I'm going to put a cap over it. I'm not going to put saran wrap. I'm going to use the cap because I still want it to have a lot of body and be bouncy and full. I don't want to flatten it. I just want to get it to the next stage. So that's why i'm wrapping it and people also ask a lot um what temperature do i put you under the dryer in no temperature make sure that air is cold because if not you're gonna be right back at the beginning and you're gonna go get in the bed because that's what i would do if i put a cap on my head and my hair reverted all the way back i would just go lay back down it's fine like this is just fine so <laughs> so i'm putting the cap on and what i do is i tie the cap in the back just to keep the hair secure because the hair is so fluffy it'll fall easily so i'm just going to tie a little knot to secure that cap and make sure that it is keeping every hair in place and i twist it just a little bit in case any hair came out of place 
Now, after she got from under the dryer, I'm just going to take this cap off her head. She only went under 10 minutes on cold air. And we are going to remove it and see how her hair just fell down. And we are going to style. So, now I'm just using a wide tooth comb and I'm combing through her hair. And, ew. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you see what I mean? This is why I wrap it, because I like when it comes down like that. I, I want, this is the effect that I be going for, okay? Look at that. You know what I'm saying? This, this looks really cute. I'm here for it. And Jada, it was funny, she doesn't even have layers cut into her hair, it's just falling like that. These are the curtain bangs I was speaking of. See how they fall? Cause you curl your hair back and it'll give you that effect. You see her edges aren't really straight, but I mean, I'm not like, I don't feel like straight edges are mandatory, but if you want to, you could go in with a hot comb for the edges or you can use a mini iron. Jada is done. Thanks so much everyone for watching. See you next time.